Hi, I'm Ryan Hennessy, and this is my solo show, Installations. It's all about the human side of social media. The big uh, visual element of Installations is the heart, the human heart, and that repeats over and over in all of the different uh, art pieces that are put up on the walls or put up hanging from the ceiling for you to interact with. With this show specifically, I wanted to do something that was um, that really explored taking artwork outside of the frame and off of the canvas. Uh, and so the whole direction was for installations, things that you could interact with and play with in the gallery themselves. Uh, and the media I used across all of the installations is paper collage. Uh, so both paper and collage were the, the big um, unifying elements. Everything's made out of some sort of paper and glue. For me, it started as how to talk about uh, what it is that fills us, what it is that makes us, um, especially in a social media context or in, a, in an instantaneous context. Um, but while I was creating the show, so the plans were already in place, but while I was creating it, um, I actually experienced a good deal of loss. What was, what was about what fills us and what makes us became also something about how we uh, are attracted to heartbreak and how we move on beyond heartbreak, right? Because it's cyclical. You break, you reform, but you always carry the things that are broken with you. The mural behind me is, um, it's called Total Eclipse of the Heart. All of the installations in this show um, have a song lyric for their title. So as I was thinking about the heart and what fills us and what makes us, um, it came to me that much of, and, and this is how it ties into social media, much of what's important to us are the things that we share with others. And so the opening and the tearing of the heart, um, that was really something that I wanted to grasp in the mural. But I I also wanted you to be the thing that is filled by all those that are opening themselves. And so when you stand in actually this position I'm in right now, and somebody else stands in another position, you can actually make a complete total eclipse of the heart with the wings sprouting from you, so you become part of the mural itself. Animations in this show reflect uh, some of the actual paper sculpture hearts that I've made as well as some of the other things. Um, there's a figure who's opening and closing his chest in one of the animations that reflects the mural. Uh, the strawberry heart is, is both an animation and one of the floating objects in the forest, um, as well as some of the others. The globe heart, for instance, actually spins in the animation. In the animation case, I consider the, uh, the digital image, the paper, um, and the glue is the, the stitching together of each stop animation piece, right? So it's the, that software piece underneath is the glue that makes it. One of them, which is my Sisyphean staircase, uh, that one's actually about 30 minutes long, and you see characters walk back and forth behind, uh, uh, in front of this large tower that's a staircase up into the heavens forever. Once he reaches the top of the tower, he becomes a explosive heart with lightning. During the opening, I had a performance that was called Just Need an End to Begin Again. In the performance, uh, I wanted to represent all of the things that fill us up, the things that, that really weigh on our heart, both good and bad. Uh, and so I took a vessel, a glass vessel, uh, and I invited participants for the opening to write their heartbreak. Uh, and so they added in their heartbreak to the jar, and once it was time to do the performance, I added in some of the things that were, were weighing on my heart. The passing of my fathers, the school shooting, money, life, all of those kind of things, as well as some trinkets like the chess piece that my dad and I used to play with as a child, um, to a, a little trinket that said hope on it that my niece gave me just a few weeks ago. 
Um, and once they were all inside of the jar, kind of almost spell-like, um, I picked up a hammer and broke it. <laughs> That broken vessel has been sitting in the gallery the entire show. And on the last day of the show, I'll come back with a fresh new glass vessel and ritualistically clean up everything because we carry our past with us, but we need space for the new things as well.